Go with y'all boys, man. How y'all doing? I hope we staying. Hold on, let me fix this on y'all. I hope we staying strong on our retention journey. I hope we're not letting these thick Latinas get to our minds. I know she got a fat ass and it's shaped nice, but don't give in, bruh. Your purpose means more. Building that abundance means more. We gotta stay focused on our purpose out here, my G. You know the vibes. Now, this video, the topic is gonna be can she feel your aura? Can she feel your testosterone? Can she feel that you're on retention? And the question is yes. The question is, yes, my nigga, if you are like 60 days plus, she is feeling your energy vibrantly, bro. If you want 60 days, bro, get around a female, bro. Go talk to one of your female friends and just look at her, bro. Make eye contact and have a nice, good conversation with her. After you leave that conversation, bro, her respect for you and her attraction is going to go up like 100%, bro. Because here's the thing, bro. Not too many men these days are retaining. Let me not even say not too many. A lot, not like majority, like let's say like nine out of ten men are not retaining, bro. If it's three billion men in this world, I say probably at least five hundred, no, a hundred thousand is retaining, bro. I'm talking just straight, like I'm talking streaking, bro. A hundred days plus, two hundred days plus a year, all that shit. Because here's the thing: we live in a sexualized culture. We live in a culture where everything is over sexualized. That's why I be telling people, get off social media, bro. If you're not making money off Instagram, if you don't have a business on Instagram, you need to get off social media. It's not for you, bro. All you're going to see on social media is OnlyFans, promos, thirst traps, half-naked models. And look, y'all, I'm not complaining about that. I am a nigga, bro. I love me a nice, good, thick booty, bro. I love me some nice, luscious thighs. But here's the thing. We are in 2021. A lot of us are young men. If you were part of Gen Z, early 2000s, bro, or even earlier, bro, you are going into your 20s. We are going into adulthood. Right now, we need to focus on building our kingdoms, bro. We are young bucks in this world, bro. We need to focus on establishing ourselves and putting ourselves in a predicament, in a position that's going to be beneficial for us down the long run. You see, people want to think now. They want it now. They don't want to put in the work because they don't want it. They, they, they don't see results about tomorrow, then they think that this shit is just a flunk but here's the thing bro long-term investments bro is gonna lead to long-term success and that's just facts bro because everything anything that comes quick anything that comes easy is never gonna last long but let me get back to my topic now can she feel your aura yes she can a lot of men are not retaining these days so when you're a man who's retaining his seed when you're a man who has an abundance of life force when you have an abundance of heat and energy she can feel that bro she can sense that out you stand out like a damn firefly in the dark because here's the thing bro girls are receptive to our energy they're receptive to us they have to be because we are we are the aggressors they take in so when you are retaining your seed you are just emitting constant energy bro you're emitting constant heat you're emitting pheromones you're emitting all that your eyes is glowing your skin is glowing when she sees this on a man she attracts to this because that shows he has good seed you see women can smell a man with good seed they can smell they can smell testosterone believe it or not you can smell your own testosterone when you are retaining for 60 days plus, your sweat is going to have a certain smell to it, bro. I'm telling you, I thought it was musk at first, but it's not. It's your testosterone. When you're constantly fapping, you're wasting your testosterone. So you don't have it. You don't have your pheromones are not strong. They're not potent. But when you're retaining, you'll see your pheromones is potent, my G. Bro, go to sleep hot ass room bro and just sweat in your sheets and wake up you're, you're gonna smell it bro your whole room is gonna smell of it and that is your testosterone now it's gonna probably smell weird it's gonna probably smell tingy but a lot of women are receptive to that some women they love that smell that smell will drive them crazy because they have to cling to that because that is how you attract the mate you see guys us humans we're not much different than the animal world we're not we just have a higher conscience we can interact we can create things you feel me but biology still stands nature still stands women are attracted to your pheromones bro they're attracted to your masculinity they want a masculine man because then that shows that she can have strong offspring that shows that she can have protection leadership in her life these soy boys that you see these days they are not masculine bro 
dog, the minute somebody roll up on smoke with them, the minute somebody roll up with hands, they quick to want to give the nigga a hug and kiss him on the forehead and shit like that. Bro, that's not manly. I don't give a fuck what niggas say. I don't give a fuck if niggas say, oh, you toxic masculinity. I don't give a fuck. Because here's the thing. You are a man, bro. And feminism, bro, they trying to knock down the, um, the masculinity in us. They don't want men to be masculine. They don't want men to be on their shit. They don't want men to be who they are in their true nature because they know that they're not going to have power. They know they're going to just be back in their normal role. And women don't want to be in that role. They rely, a lot of them don't because a lot of women are power hungry. But here's the thing. Even those feminazi bitches, when you a man who's retaining, bro, they still going to submit to you. A lot of girl, bro, you gonna find that a lot of girls are gonna respect you on this shit because you're masculine, bro. Listen, think about it. It takes forty to sixty drops of blood to make one drop of um come on on one drop of sperm. My bad. If you are constantly busting loads every day, what's it? You bust three loads, right? Bro, you're losing a lot of blood. You're losing like a pint of blood right there, bro. Or a little bit under a pint. Now think about it. A girl, she bleeds for a week one time, once every month. If you're constantly jacking 30 days of that month three times a day and you're losing more blood than a girl, think about it. You're a man, but you're losing more blood than a girl. And you expect her to respect you. And that's the problem these days. Men get no respect because they don't have no masculinity. Their aura in their magnetic field is zero. So when you're retaining, bro, that magnetic field gradually is expanding, bro. It is expanding. You see, we are electromagnetic beings. We have a magnetic field. That's how when you interact with a friend, you pick up some of their habits subconsciously because y'all magnetic fields are intertwining. Now, depending on your aura, depending on how strong your aura is, it's depending how fast your magnetic field is going to be. When you're retaining, you or extend your bro, you're expanding that field big as fuck. That's why you can walk down the street and get mad eyes on you because your aura is huge and they can feel that. It's like a big ass bubble. You can't see it, but it's a big bubble that's around you. And then you're just, well, as you walk, it's just like that. That's why when somebody comes into that bubble, you end up start feeling it like let's say somebody's walking behind you and as they're getting closer out of nowhere you get like a sense like you'll turn around because they enter into your bubble that's why when you on retention your reflexes increases because your bubble is expanding now when your bubble expands like that and you're radiant through your eyes women can feel this shit firsthand bro they're very receptive to it if if men are receptive to it because you're gonna get a lot of respect from men and if men are receptive to it if men can read your aura and get more respect for you women are going to lust and be attracted to you but here's the thing you're gonna attract Jezebels too, so you gotta be careful. You gotta pick the weeds from the weeds. Cause you're gonna attract good women, but you're also gonna attract bad women. And you're gonna attract more bad women than good women because these Jezebels, they know you're holding an abundance and they want you to see. So that's the thing. You gotta be careful because you will attract, bro. You're gonna attract mad girls. You're gonna attract mad, bro. You're just gonna attract everything, bro. Animals are gonna love you. Your family is gonna start loving you more. Your siblings are gonna start respecting you more. But here's the thing, you have to be careful because at the end of the day, they know you're hoarding that energy and they're and they're gonna wanna use it. So you have to be careful on how you give your energy out what you do with your aura. Because your aura can be tainted with. And if your aura is distorted, then that can fuck you up. And sometimes a lot of people don't know how to get the aura back to the way it's supposed to be. So if you're on retention, bro, if you like 60 days plus, yes, she can feel, she knows you're on it, bro. She can feel your masculinity. She can feel that presence. Your presence is strong, bro. You're like a fucking lion walking down the prairie lands, my nigga. So she knows that your posture is different. Your shoulders is more upward. Your back is straighter. Woman analyze us, bro. Women glance at us for a second. And in that second, they already analyzed us, believe it or not. It's true. So... If you're a man, bro, you walking down the street and you on retention, bro, you giving off that heat, you walk, you nigga, you, nigga, you letting your nuts hang, bro, bro, she noticed that shit, bro. And you might, and, and if she noticed that shit to the point where you might stare at her and you gonna see her stare and she gonna start smiling. But here's the thing, don't get caught off guard, bro. Don't get caught off guard. Because your aura, your seed is your life force. And they say the, the ejaculation is the little death. Y'all stay.